the Federal Reserve System. The Federal Reserve System, or simply the Fed, is the nation's central monetary authority or central bank. The Fed Board of Governors are responsible for creating and implementing monetary policy. Many Americans are not even aware of the important role the Fed plays in our country. The interest rates Americans pay on home loans, car loans, or whether they can even get a loan at all, is strongly affected by the decisions and actions of the Fed. In fact, the Fed Chairman, currently Ben Bernanke, is often called the second most powerful person in America. Let's look at the organization of the Federal Reserve. The Fed basically has three levels. At the top level is the Board of Governors with its chairman, Ben Bernanke, the Federal Open Market Committee, or FOMC, and the Federal Advisory Council. The middle level consists of 12 Federal Reserve Banks located throughout the U.S. And the bottom or third level consists of thousands of member banks located throughout the U.S. and the non-bank public, you, me, everybody else. The Board of Governors consists of seven members who are appointed by the President for 14-year terms. They are not eligible for reappointment. The President also appoints one of the seven members as the Chairman of the Board for a term of four years. The Chairman may be reappointed. The Board of Governors is the central policy-making section of the Federal Reserve System. They are responsible for creating and implementing monetary policy. Because the decisions made by the board have such a big impact on the economy, it is important that the board is not influenced by partisan politics. Because of this, the decisions made by the board do not have to be approved by Congress or by the President. The Federal Open Market Committee, or FOMC, is responsible for the buying and selling of government securities, bills, bonds, notes, and the open market to change interest rates and affect the availability of credit. The 12-member committee consists of the seven Board of Governors plus five presidents of the Federal Reserve Banks. The FOMC will be discussed more in a future video on interest rates and FOMC decisions. The Federal Advisory Council the members of the Federal Advisory Council consists of 12 commercial bankers, with one member being selected by each of the 12 Federal Reserve Banks. The Federal Advisory Council acts as a junction between bankers and the Board of Governors. It meets with the Board of Governors to report on general business conditions throughout the nation and to give advice about future banking policies. Federal Reserve Banks The Federal Reserve Act which created the Federal Reserve System, divided the country into 12 districts. It also established a separate Federal Reserve Bank for each district. This is much different than most countries. Most countries only have a single central bank. The Federal Reserve Banks could be called Bankers Banks in that they deal only with other banks and other financial institutions. They do not deal with the public. Each Federal Reserve Bank is owned by the commercial banks in its district who are members of the Fed. They are required to buy stock in the Federal Reserve Bank when they become members of the Fed. Although the Federal Reserve Banks are privately owned, their main goal is to carry out monetary policy as dictated by the Board of Governors. Commercial banks fall into two categories, national banks and state banks. National banks are chartered by the federal government and are required to become members of the Fed. State banks are chartered by individual states and have the choice as to whether they join the Fed or not join the Fed. However, even if they do not join, state banks must still abide by the rules of the Fed. Let's look at some of the functions the Fed performs. One function the Fed performs is making sure that the member banks comply and conform to the banking laws and regulations. The Fed provides paper currency or money. The Fed is responsible for check clearing. Another function it performs is serving as fiscal agent for the federal government, including holding tax money. The Fed also holds the required reserves that banks and other financial institutions are required to keep, and it sets the reserve limit requirements. However, 
The most important function of the Fed is controlling the amount of money in circulation, which is part of monetary policy. More on banking and monetary policy in the next video. So that ends our discussion on the Federal Reserve System. In the next video, we'll discuss how banks create money. And in the following video after that, we will discuss monetary policy in detail. See you then.